God bless everybody. Welcome, uh, amen, to the School of the Prophets University. Amen. It's so good to see all of you, and it's so good to be able to bring a word. I'm excited. I'm always excited. You know I am, because the Queen is coming. Amen. The Queen, Dr. Gloria Maria Cummings, is going to come and, uh, and talk to us today about kingdom citizens' rights. We got a right. Amen. We got rights. Amen. As kingdom citizens. You know, um, we're a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a holy nation. Amen. And we have rights. We have a king. Amen. His name is Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. We have a king. And we have a commonwealth. Amen. We have kingdom rights. What I want to say is that it is time. We're, we're in the turning point. You've seen it. All year long, you've seen the turning point. Amen, amen. But now, you know, we have to enter into that. Enter into that. And uh, there's a scripture I want to share before we go on. In the book of Romans, chapter number 4, and verse number 3, in the message translation, it says, when we read in the scripture, Abraham entered into what God was doing for him. And that was the turning point. You got to go into that. You got to enter into the promises that God has made to us. You got to enter into the commonwealth that God has made for us. You got to enter into the healing that God promised us. Amen. Amen. And so my wife is going to come and talk to you today about kingdom rights. All of you that are out there, get your pen, get your paper. Amen. Take notes. Amen. Because we're going to enter into our kingdom rights. We are kingdom citizens, and we have rights. Amen. Dr. Gloria Maria Cummings is going to come and bless you in the word of God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Well, I say greetings to all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank and praise God for being the God that he is. Amen. Back in January of 2017, Apostle taught us that are born again that we are not members. Right. But we are kingdom citizens. Kingdom citizens. Just as the scripture says in Philippians chapter number 3 and verse 20 in the Amplified Version, it says, we are different. We're different. We are different because our citizenship is in heaven. Glory. And from there we eagerly await the coming of the Savior, yes. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory. And our master teacher reminded us that all kingdoms, they function on the law or the principle of a commonwealth. All right. And the commonwealth is the king's commitment to see that uh, all of his citizens have equal access, equal. meaning they have the, the right to use the wealth and the resources of the kingdom. Amen. So God's commitment to us, to you, and to me as his citizens is that we have equal access and we have a right to use the wealth yeah. And the resources of the kingdom That's of right. God. Amen. Amen. This Glory. is important to the king because the quality of life of the citizens of a kingdom reflects the glory and the reputation of the king. Yeah. And when the welfare of the king's citizens is excellent, then the reputation of a king among other kings is honorable. Amen. Amen. Glory. Kingdoms provide for all the needs of us. Yeah. Their citizens. Amen. Amen. And the king is personally committed to uh, and involved in the welfare of his citizens. All right. And as a citizen of heaven, we have a multitude of rights. That's right. Amen. Now, another scenario that I would like to use is that when you belong to a household, All right. so to speak, you are given keys so that you can access things that 
that might be locked uh, to others. Amen. Amen. Keys Amen. grant you access and the right to use and the right to enjoy yeah. uh, all the benefits of the household. Amen. Jesus said in Matthew 16 and 19, yeah. he said, I will give you the keys. All right. Meaning he will give you the authority yeah. of the kingdom of heaven. My God. In other words, he was saying, I will give you access yeah. to and, and the right to use, the right to to enjoy yeah. all benefits of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And Amen. whatever he said, and whatever you bind, mm. in other words, whatever you forbid, yeah. whatever you declare to be improper, yeah. whatever you say is unlawful, yeah. amen, whatever you close up on earth will have already been bound up or closed up yeah. in heaven. Mm -hmm. And whatever you loose, meaning whatever you permit, yeah. Whatever you declare lawful, meaning whatever you yeah. open no on no earth, no. will right. have already been loose or open in heaven. Glory to God. Amen. There are some keys to the kingdom of God. Yeah. And the keys of the kingdom mm. are the principles, the precepts, yeah. the laws, and systems by which the kingdom of God Functions. All right, all right. The keys must be learned and they must be applied yeah. by the citizens in order to access your rights mm. and to access your benefits yeah. and privileges of the kingdom. All right. In the past message, uh, uh, I had um, taught on this subject previously and, and I had mentioned that um, in, in, in that in that message, I used an illustration. I had a key ring full mm -hmm. of keys. All right. Uh, pointing out that we all have a key ring. Yeah. But we don't know what each key on someone else's key ring grants access to. Right. Some keys are obvious, mm -hmm. like those that are for cars. They they look a certain way. And we know that that's a key for a car. Yeah. Amen. But most of the keys on the key ring are not obvious. Right. We Amen. know that they open doors, mm -hmm. but we have to learn what door a particular key will open. Go ahead. As citizens of heaven, yeah. or as kingdom people, amen, there are keys that grant you access to many things. Yeah. And there are many promises. That God has made pertaining to us. All right. So now let's go into the word of God, which is our key ring. Amen. And unlock some doors that grants us access to what we are entitled to as citizens of the kingdom of All God. All right. Let's turn to Genesis chapter number 17. Mm -hmm. Let me All start right. by reminding you that God has placed angels yeah. at our disposal. All right. And it's very important that we understand angelic forces because many of us don't really, you don't understand the ministry of the angels as it pertains to us who are kingdom people. All Amen. Right. Amen. We need to understand the purpose of angels yeah. and their assignment by God mm -hmm. pertaining to us. Amen. Genesis chapter number 17 and verse number 7 in the Amplified Version. Okay. It says, I will establish my covenant mm. between me and you, yeah. the kingdom citizens, yeah. and your descendants after you All right. throughout their generation for an everlasting covenant. My God. To be God to you mm. and to your descendants after you. Amen. What a profound mm. and powerful statement mm -hmm. from God mm. to you and to me. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. God says, I will establish my covenant. Yeah. And in his covenant promises, mm. he said he will bless and multiply us exceedingly. Yeah. He said we will be exceedingly fruitful. All right. He said that we will have protection mm. and healing. He said that we will have favor. We will have 
increase yeah. that we will have prosperity. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we look at all the promises, even that's mentioned in uh, Deuteronomy chapter number 28, you all can right. go there later on this week and read it. Mm -hmm. But as we look at all the promises in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, yeah. and others, and other many other scriptures, we might ask, how is God going to establish yeah. them all? Because when God initially made the covenant, it was only made to one man. Right. But now we are the descendants. Yeah. And there are so many of us. So how is God going to do all of this? Mm. The answer is through word power. Right, man. And through angel power. Yeah. A lot of people struggle with the reality of angels. All right. And there's some possibilities that you may have encountered an angel yeah. or two in your life. Uh -huh. Hebrews 13, chapter, verses 1 and 2. It yeah. says, let brotherly love continue. All right. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. All right. In yeah. other words, we are to welcome strangers. Yeah. Because some of us can meet up with angels uh, without even knowing it. Amen. All right. And, and they look just like us. All right. Amen. Yeah. So let's look at Hebrews chapter number one mm -hmm. in the Amplified Classic version. Yeah. Verse number 13. Man. And it reads, Glory. besides, to which of the angels has he ever said, sit at my right hand associated with me in my royal dignity till I make your enemies a stool for your feet. All right. Verse 14 it says, are not the angels all ministering spirits? All right. In other words, ministering servants. Yeah. Set out in the service of God. Yes. For the assistance of those who are to inherit salvation. All right. Hallelujah. Meaning those that are to inherit salvation, those are... The citizens of heaven All right. that are on earth. That Amen. is talking specifically about you. Mm. And it's talking about me. Yeah. It's telling us that we have the authority of God yeah. given to us. And God said he will make our enemies mm. our footstool. Yeah. And he said that uh, to the heirs Jesus. of salvation. He said that to them. To us. And not to angels. Amen. Yeah. So we know, and we know that as we study in the word of God, that there are five divisions of angels. Yeah. Amen. Uh, the first division is called seraphims. Mm. They are angels that praise God unceasingly. All right. Since they are the closest to God, one of their duties is to govern the heavens. All right. The second division is called cherubims. All right. They are described as serving the will of God. Yeah. Performing divine duties in the earthly realm. All right. Then the third division is called archangels. All right. And they have a number of duties, mm. as indicated in their name. They they lead the other ranks of angels. All right. And it appears that they engage in spiritual combat, as we have seen in scripture, uh, with that indicated that Mike, where Michael was, uh, engaged in. In combat and in battle. Amen. All right. Amen. The fourth division uh, are called the four living creatures yeah. that are around the throne. And these angels look like animals because their character is like these animals. Amen. Right. Like lions are bold and mm -hmm. strong. And, yeah. and ox is known for strength but humble. In other words, they uh, they loyally do uh, the work that God has for them to do, has right. given them to do. And these angels, those angels are very wise and very intelligent. All right. And the fourth face that's on uh, uh, that angel is the eagle that rises high in the sky and is very swift. And these angels live in the highest heaven. Mm. And, okay, so I told you all that to get to the fifth division. Amen. It's the one that we're looking at on today. Amen. And the fifth division uh, are heavenly. They are heavenly, but one division of, um, 
I mean, four of the five divisions are heavenly, but the one division of angels were created specifically All right. with humanity to be servants of right. the kingdom of God, the kingdom citizen, All right. to be servants of you, mm -hmm. to be servants of me. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So the hierarchy is God, man, mm -hmm. and then angels. All right. Men don't serve, mm -hmm. and men don't worship angels. Right. But verse 14 says that these angels are to serve us. Yeah. Hallelujah. According to Galatians, third chapter in the 29th verse, mm. it's, it, it says, and if you belong to Christ, yeah. You are in him who is Abraham's seed. All right. Then you are Abraham's offspring. Yeah. And spiritual heirs according to the promise. Amen. 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 And because we're born again, we're heirs to the promise. All right. Because we're of Christ. And the angels are ministering spirits. Yeah. Meaning the angels are our servants. Amen. All right. Who were assigned to us. By God to assist the kingdom citizens. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. So because we're heirs, we all have angels who are our servants. All right. These scriptures reveal to us that we have angelic servants sent by God. Mm. Although we can't see them unless God opens our eyes yeah. to be able to see them. Amen. Amen. If God was to open our spiritual eyes yeah. right now. Mm. You would see a multitude yeah. of angels all around the place that you're at. All right. Just because you can't see them mm -hmm. with your physical eye, it doesn't mean that they're not right there beside you. Amen. There are many things you can't see with your natural eye. Amen. Yeah. But they exist. That's right. Like radio waves. Yeah. They're electromagnetic. And they range from one foot to several miles long. Yeah. Amen. But we can't see them. All right. There are atoms, uh, which are the smallest building blocks of matter yeah. in the universe, but can't be seen yeah. with the human eye. Mm -hmm. There's air. There's oxygen yeah. that we can't see, yeah. but we know it's there because it keeps us alive. Yeah. Amen. There's gravity that can't be seen, yeah. but we can measure it, but we can't observe it. Right. Amen. We can observe the brain and its chemical reactions, but our thoughts are completely intangible to us. Amen. That's right. We know that the universe is out there. And we can see a fraction of it with telescopes. Yeah. But we can't see or even phantom the entire extent of the universe. That's right. And whether or not it actually is, or just like all of those things exist that we can't physically see, but they are there. Amen. And they're in full operation. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So likewise, there are ministering spirits mm. that have been created. And they have been sent to serve those of us who are kingdom people. Amen. Angels will assist you uh, within the framework where the Abrahamic covenant is concerned. Yeah. And their job is to make the covenant, make sure the covenant is established in your life. Yeah. Established in my life. And that is to administer and enforce the blessings of yeah. Abraham in our lives. Man. So Lord. now let's let's add something else to this. Mm -hmm. Galatians 3 and 19. Yeah. People that do things to you, they need to ask somebody about you before they mess with you. Yeah. Amen. Because you have a whole force of angels that's working on your behalf. All right. Man. Wherefore then serveth the law. Mm. In other words, what was the purpose of the law? Mm -hmm. It was added because of transgressions. Mm -hmm. Till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. All right. And it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. All right. Now, we understand that a law has to be in place. Yeah. Before it can be transgressed. That's right. In other words, it's just like 
a speed limit that we're all familiar with. Mm -hmm. It has to be established before a speed limit law can be broken or enforced. Right. Amen? Amen. So now, if we look into the Old Testament, we see angels doing all kinds of mighty things to establish God's covenant. All right. In the area of protection. Yeah. In the area of blessings. Mm -hmm. And in the areas of prosperity. Yeah. But what does it mean by the law ordained by angels? Mm -hmm. What does that word ordain mean? All right. To ordain means to administer and have charge of. Amen. Right. It means to be the chief agent in managing, to manage, to conduct, to furnish, to supply, and to dispense and distribute. All right. It Amen. means to execute. Yeah. Our angel's assignment is that they are to work for us. All right. And execute and supply mm -hmm. and furnish things for us. Amen. Angels are messengers, Amen. but they also are our agents. Yeah. When we use the word agents, I don't know about you, but I always think about the CIA, yeah. the Central Intelligence Agency mm -hmm. of the United States. Yeah. But we've been given agents yeah. who also work undercover for us. Mm -hmm. You can't see them. Right. But I heard somebody call them mm. the CEAs. Yeah. Because they are covenant enforcement agents. Glory be to God. And their job is to enforce the covenant that we as kingdom citizens have with God. Amen. Amen. So now that we know what they are and what they do, mm -hmm. let's look at Psalms 103. Yeah. And this is one of those kingdom keys that I was talking to you about. Amen. Angels aren't just to watch over us. Yeah. Or to just protect us. Mm -hmm. That's only a portion of what they do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's, it's, it's not only what they do because they have so many other assignments from God towards us. Amen. All right. Psalms 103. Um chapter 103, verses 20 and 21. Yeah. It says, Bless the Lord, mm. ye his angels, yeah. that excel in strength, that do his commandments, mm. hardening unto the voice of his word. Yeah. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his saints, his hosts, yeah. ye ministers of his, mm. that do his pleasure. All right. Verse 20, if you look at that, it says that the angels hearken after the voice of the Lord. Yeah. And hearken means to do. It means to obey the voice of his word. Yeah. Amen. Okay. I'm going to make a statement. Mm -hmm. And I want you to respond where you are. Yeah. Uh, to true or false. Everybody except the apostle. Amen. Because we know he know the answer to this. Angels. Now listen to this. Angels hearken. After the word. Is that true or false? Mm. Think about it. Angels hearken after the word. Mm -hmm. True or false? The answer is false. Just because the word is there in your Bible, it won't cause the angels to move because the angels like us have to hear it before they do it. Yeah. So we have to take the word mm -hmm. and we have to speak the word mm -hmm. with a voice. Angels only move when the word is spoken with a voice. Glory. They are commanded to move mm -hmm. according to the word when it is used with a voice. All right. All right. You have to put your voice to God's word. That's right. Amen. The word of the covenant with a voice causes an angel to move on your behalf. That's right. Angels are voice activated. All right. Did you hear what I said? Mm. I said angels are voice activated. Yeah. What you speak must be the covenant word of God. 
Yeah. To order the angels to move and to go forth on your behalf. Amen. When you say it, they are obligated by God mm. to enforce it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Somewhat like we use in today's world, Siri. Or we'll use Alexa. All right. As voice activated to cause things to happen yeah. that you command for it to do. That's how the angels work. Amen. Verse 21, it says, Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts. Yeah. Hosts, here are the angels, ye ministers of his. And we've also established that the angels are ministering spirits yeah. that do his pleasure. Amen. So we learn that the angels will do God's will when we give voice to the word of God. Amen. Or voice activate them. Amen. Amen. And we see that angels do God's pleasure. Amen. Mm -hmm. The angels want to please God. Yeah. Amen. The angels have been sent to serve you. Mm -hmm. So now we have to find out what God's pleasure is. All right. So now let's look at Psalms 35th chapter and verse number 27. All right. It says, let them shout for joy. Yeah. And be glad that favor my, my righteous cause. cause. Yeah. Yeah. Let them say continually. Yeah. Let the Lord be magnified. Mm -hmm. Which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. All right. Amen. So now what is God's pleasure? It's the prosperity of of his, his servants. servants. Amen. Amen. So the word says that God's pleasure is my and your prosperity. Yeah. My prosperity, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. So it's extremely pleasing to God yeah. that you prosper. Yeah. It's pleasing to God mm -hmm. when I prosper. Yeah. And the Bible says that the angels do God's pleasure. And in order to do that, they have to serve and they have to assist to our prosperity. All right. But it also says that the angels only hearken to the voice of the word. Amen. Verse 27, it says, let them say continually. Yeah. So that doesn't mean that you say it one time and you don't say it anymore. All right. How many times is continuously? What does continually mean? It means repetitiously. Yeah. It means consistently. Yeah. It means persistently. Yeah. It means constantly. Yeah. Without limit. Amen. 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 So we should be saying, not just once a day, but several times a day, yeah. that the Lord has pleasure yeah. in my prosperity. All right. And if you would say that, yeah. The angels will hear that. All right. And they will minister that. Yeah. We need to be saying daily with our angels. Angels? Yeah. The Lord is pleased when I prosper. All right. Go now and minister to me prosperity. Amen. And to prosper does not just mean finances. Right. Amen. Yeah. To prosper, it means to flourish. Yeah. It means to thrive. Yeah. It means to increase. Yeah. It means to succeed. Yeah. It also means for you to advance. All right. Amen. Amen. So their job is to bring to you prosperity. Yeah. Prosperity in your finances. Yeah. Prosperity in your home. Yeah. In your employment. Mm. In your health. Mm. In the soundness of your mind. Yeah. In your business and so on. Yeah. But they are just <clears throat> waiting on you. Yeah. The angels are waiting on you yeah. to give voice to God's word. All right. Amen. So what do you say? Mm. You say, angels, yeah. the Lord is pleased when I prosper. Right. Go now and minister unto me prosperity. All right. And they have to cause you to run into the right person at the right time. All right. Every they time. have to cause you to come up with the right idea yeah. for success. All right. Your angels are your ministers. Yeah. Sent to do God's pleasure mm. and bring prosperity to God's kingdom people. Amen. Amen. What I want you to realize is that just like you can't see the things that I mentioned 
at the beginning of this message. Yeah. You can't see the radio waves. You can't see air and oxygen um, and thoughts in the air. You can't see that. You can uh, or the entire universe. Yeah. Just because you can't see them, it does not mean that they don't exist. All right. And just because you can't see your angels, it does not mean that they are not there for you. That's right. You just need to know what the key is to unlock it and bring them to access you and what you command Amen. and what you're asking them to do. Glory. If God was to open your spiritual eyes right now. You will see angels. Yeah. Hallelujah. All behind me and on the side of me. Amen. Yeah. You see them standing uh, uh, along the walls of where you are. Yeah. You will see some hovering over the ceiling area of where you are. Yeah. You, uh, if you look outside of your window, yeah. I guarantee that you will see them if you were able to see them, if God opened your eyes for it. Hallelujah. If you could see them, yeah. uh, if you look on the street, you will see them. Yeah. You wouldn't even be able to see the houses on the other side of the block because there's so many of them out there. Amen. Hallelujah. You'll see them on the lawn and you'll see them in the parking lots. And you will see them in the streets bordering your property. Mm -hmm. If you look up, you'll see them all up in the sky. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, you couldn't even see the houses, like I said, across the street from your house. Amen. Yeah, Hallelujah. Amen. You can't be moved by what you see, mm -hmm. but you have to be moved by the word of God. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is real. Mm -hmm. Heaven is real. Yeah. Angels are real. Yeah. The word of God tells us that angels are assigned to us, to guide us, mm -hmm. to protect us, to serve us. To yeah. minister to us. Hallelujah. They are called to do God's pleasure. Yeah. To cause us to prosper. To open doors for you. To cause favor to come into yeah. your life. To cause you to run into the right person, like I said, at the right time. Yeah. But if you don't do what you're supposed to do, and if you uh, and, and put your voice to the word of God and activate your angels and mix your words with faith, then you won't have a manifestation yeah. of your blessings. Yes. Amen. So I'm asking Glory. God our Father mm -hmm. to open your spiritual eyes yeah. right now. Hallelujah. Amen. To see what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you right now. Yeah. I'm asking God mm. to open your spiritual ears. Yeah. To hear what the Spirit is saying to you, the church. To All you, right. the heirs of salvation. Amen. To you, the citizens of heaven. Mm -hmm. Listen to what God is saying to each and every one of you under the sound of my voice. Yeah. Your angels are alive mm -hmm. and well right there beside you. Amen. They are ready to prosper you in your spirit, yeah. in your soul, in your body, with your family, with your business. And yeah. everything that you put your hands to do and prosper you wherever you place the soles of your feet. Amen. Angels are with you right now. Amen. Angels are working on all those things that you are going through. Amen. Angels are making sure Glory. that all and everything that you face, hallelujah, that you're going through, are working together yeah. for your good. For your good. You can't see how it's being done, mm -hmm. but I guarantee you it's working together. Amen. Because I believe the word of God that tells us that. Mm -hmm. You can't see it naturally. Hallelujah. Amen. But it's all coming together in the spirit world. Amen. Angels are ready to bring pleasure mm -hmm. unto God by causing you to prosper. Amen. With this test that you're going through, he, God wants you to prosper in it. Yeah. The angels will bring you victory in it. Yeah. In uh, this trial that seems like it's getting to be more and more difficult for you to bear, God wants you to have victory in this, and he has given you angels to mm. help you accomplish that goal. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Amen. A host of angels. They are waiting on you right now. Mm. Hallelujah. They're waiting on you to give voice.
to the word of God. Mm -hmm. they'll, uh, they'll go through the storms with you and they'll go through the fire with you because yeah. you are never by yourself. You are never alone. There yeah. are an innumerable uh, number of angels on standby yeah. waiting for you right now. Amen. Waiting for their flight instructions. Amen. Glory. Waiting on you to give the voice mm -hmm. of the word. Amen. They are ready mm. for takeoff. Yeah. Yes, they are. Amen. Angels are real. Mm -hmm. And I challenge you to embrace and to accept the invitation yeah. of King Jesus to come and either join or renew, hallelujah, your citizenship in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. By being born into the kingdom of God if you haven't already been. Amen. I want you to play this message over and over until it gets down in your spirit. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We invite you to continue to join us for our teaching on our broadcast. Amen. To enlighten you and for you to grow in strength, for you to grow in knowledge of the word of God, mm -hmm. to arm you and to equip you for the battles of life that you face. Amen. Amen. You can contact us at ShabbatGlobalMinistries.com. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, and uh, leave your tax-deductible contribution to our ministry. You yeah. can contact us. Send us your prayer requests. Amen. Amen. You can um, also tune in to us every Thursday night. Glory. At 7 p.m. Central Time. Yeah. Every Sunday at noon Central Time. Yeah. To hear the word of God. Amen. To empower you and to help you to prosper Amen. in this life. Amen. Amen. You can also sow a seed of appreciation to uh, through Cash App. Amen. Amen. With dollar sign. Mm -hmm. SGM mm -hmm. 920. Amen. Dollar sign SGM 920. Glory. Let us know. Write us at P.O. Box 4 mm -hmm. at Bourbonnet, Illinois. Yeah. 60914. Amen. Let us know how the teaching of our broadcast is helping you. Amen. Amen. So right now I'm going to turn everything over to my second head, my first head is Jesus, to my second head of my life, uh, which is our master teacher, Apostle Jeremiah Cummings. Amen. Amen. Wonderful word. Amen. Prosperity is success. God wants you to be successful. And the angels hearken unto the words of God. Amen. And those words are spoken by us. Yeah. And when they hear us speaking the word, then they are on an assignment. Amen. You got to speak the word. In order to speak the word, you got to know the word. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for all of you. Amen. I saw Ambassador Joe Thomas is on down in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, Helping Hands Restoration is on our website, ShabbatGlobalMinistries.com. Helping Hands Restorations is on our website. And they are feeding the hungry clothing the naked, and sheltering the homeless. Amen. Down there in Jackson, Mississippi, her and Deacon Steve Thomas, and we got them covered in prayer. Amen and amen. To Noah, I've been missing Noah yes. and, uh, for a couple weeks now. So Noah, I haven't forgotten you, I haven't forgotten you and we're going to be on screen talking to you and Chris and, and uh, Sister Tia pretty soon. We're so honored, amen, to bring the word of God. And God wants you to enter into this. He wants you to enter into what he promised you. 7,000 promises. He's, hey, you got to claim them. You got to say them. Amen. When you need money, amen. Hey, he, he, he rejoices that you have all the money you need. That house that you've been waiting on. Angels on assignment. They're going to go and get that house and show you that house. Amen. Everything that you need, God's got it for you. As a kingdom citizen, you have a right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, man, to be Baraka. Yeah. To be blessed, to be empowered. Amen. To be victorious, to be happy. 
as a child of God. Your so kingdom, God right? You. Yes. Amen. And we thank God for my my wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous, uh, anointed wife, Dr. Gloria Maria Cummins, on Kingdom Citizens Right. And we'll see you on Thursday night, if not before. We'll see you on Thursday night at 7 o'clock on Central Standard Time for a word from God for you. God bless you and God keep you. We'll talk to you soon. God bless you.